Hello everyone, I am Dr. Rahul Enes. I am a consultant vascular and endovascular surgeon in Old Airport Road Manipal Hospital. When I say a vascular and endovascular surgeon, the first thing which comes to a person's mind is what does this person specialize in or what this doctor specializes in. Vascular and endovascular surgery is a branch of medicine which deals with the treatment of blood vessels with the ones all over the body except the one supplying the brain and the heart. Now a vascular and endovascular surgeon is specialized in the medical management that is through medicines, in the surgical management through open surgery, through interventions that is minimally invasive or keyhole procedures as well as hybrid procedures where both open surgeries and minimally invasive procedures are done simultaneously in the same patients. Now when it comes to blood vessels, there are two types of blood vessels in the body. The arteries which carry oxygen blood or good pure blood to all parts of the body from the heart and the veins which carry the impure blood back to the heart. So the heart pumps good blood to all parts of the body, the impure blood comes back to the heart subsequently goes to the lungs, it gets purified and comes back to the heart and that blood is supplied to all parts of the body. Now, what are the common symptoms which a patient of varicose veins or uh, peripheral vascular disease comes? Now, varicose veins is a very common disease of the vascular system. This happens in patients who stand for long, they experience calf pain, there is swelling of the limbs, then the patient uh, has increased or severity of the disease increases, there will be wound formation in the legs. Coming to peripheral vascular disease, this is the problem of the arteries where the narrowing of the arteries is seen. This can lead to symptoms of discoloration of the toes called gangrene. A patient might develop severe pain while he is walking, commonly seen in smokers. Diabetes contributes to the increase in peripheral vascular disease. Now when it comes to a patient with very peripheral vascular disease or a venous disorder, the ultrasound Doppler scan is the most commonly done scan. This once done will determine the course of treatment. This will determine whether the patient will require only the medicines or the patient requires any particular procedures. A slightly higher study and a more accurate study would be a CT scan, be it an angiogram or a venogram. Now when it comes to open surgical treatment, open surgical treatment has its own benefits as well as withdrawal or backdoors. It requires prolonged stay, it is not usually well accepted in morbid patients. Whereas when it comes to minimally invasive or endovascular procedures, the hospital stay is shorter and patient hardly you know feels the procedure being done but the withdraw or the backdraw of endovascular procedures is there is usually a recurrence rate which is higher than in open procedures now vascular and endovascular surgery is not just about repairing the blood vessels and the diseases it's also about post procedure rehabilitation where the follow-up is extremely essential. Usually an ultrasound Doppler scan is done as a follow-up. Regular lifestyle habitat is also important for a prolonged healthy vascular life. Thank you.